Hey guys, Brian Beeler and Kevin O'Brien coming to you from the Storage View Lab with a turbo review today. We've got the Samsung 870 QVO. Yeah, there's a lot of those uh, out there right now. There's the one terabyte, two terabyte, and now the eight terabyte. And the four terabyte. Yes. Uh, so yes, we did do this review already where we looked at what the one and four, right? Yeah. And so now we've got the eight terabyte. So when we did that review back in June, I think it was, the eight terabyte had been announced. The launch was to be at a later date and we are now at a later date. Mm -hmm. And so Samsung sent us their, their eight terabyte drive and we put it to the test. Now, in terms of what it is uh, physically, as we take a look at it, it's a standard two and a half inch, seven millimeter drive height. So it's gonna go in most modern laptops that have a two and a half inch bay. Uh, you took the drive apart for fun. That was at a uh, we had a very specific request from uh, from our Reddit or our subreddit actually for that. Uh, so you took care of that for our good friend uh, who was it? A Step Stoner was the one that asked for that user yeah. Step Stoner. So you took care of that. It's a decent sized PCB compared to what we've seen in the other QVO models where it's like a little micro PCB. Although I'm not sure if it really matters because it's still less than the total volume of a seven mil thick two and a half inch drive so I mean, it could be the size of a stamp it could take up the entire space it doesn't really matter <laughs> no it doesn't matter but it's kind of neat to see what's inside and what is that three screws and destroy the label to get into it yeah they kind of notice if you get into it but uh after that i mean it has a pretty standard config it's using eight nan packs a controller a dram module and it's good to go and even though the drive comes with a nice warranty, we've successfully destroyed our warranty. Yes, warranty's voided. Thanks, Stepstoner. Anyway, let's take a look at the performance. Uh, overall, the drive starts out okay, but yeah, so, then we see some erratic behavior. So the random read uh, performance is pretty good. It It's leveled off pretty closely with the other uh, QLC SATA procs from Samsung. The random write performance, though, really curves off compared to where the rest of the group uh, comes out. Now, we've seen this before where certain capacity points don't offer the highest performance. It's not that the smaller capacity drives are faster, It's not, uh, but there are certain NAND configurations that have a performance hit. Well, there's more. I think we see this a lot in, in these drives where one capacity will have just the right alignment of of NAND and lanes and whatever else and just be a little bit faster than the others in the family. Yeah, so with that in mind, the uh, the random write performance uh, took a hit. Uh, sequential read and sequential write, it's basically right in line, lockstep with the uh, other models. Now, as we look into our uh, mixed workloads, the VDI guys, this is again where it starts to fall back. And uh, this is where you'll see a huge shift where um, the latency picks up, it's not as fast. Uh, and then in uh, some of these, it really falls back fast. So this, this particular model it gives you a huge performance uh, increase over a hard drive. It's gonna be a big capacity increase over a lot of the traditional uh, uh, SATA or M.2 SSDs, but you're gonna have a certain concessions when it comes to performance. Right. You get an efficiency, though, of being able to get all of that capacity in one slot. So now it just kind of depends on what you're doing. If you've got a notebook with a couple bays, Lenovo's got a couple others. Yeah, have there are a that. lot of business notebooks and gaming notebooks, of course, that have uh, onboard M.2 for the boot drive mm -hmm. and a uh, spot to put in a two and a half inch drive or hell if it. It still includes a uh, CD-ROM or DD. Oh, uh, dear DVD. goodness. An optical disk drive. There might be a spot where you take that out and you can put in a um, an SSD. Could an argument be made for this in an enclosure as a portable drive for somebody that needs a lot of capacity on the go? Yeah, I think so. It just depends on uh, where your price performance uh, ratio works out. And as you think about the, uh, the density, I think... That's the hook, right? Seven mil drive, eight terabytes of, of capacity. It's harder to make the case for it in a PC in a traditional tower. Enclosure. Yeah, there you could, I mean, a lot of those you could put in multiple SSDs in RAID 0. You could have uh, multiple M.2 SSDs. You're not really as uh, space limited. How many two terabyte drives would it take to make an eight ter to get the same capacity as eight terabyte. I don't have my cell phone in front of me, but I think it could be four in RAID zero. <laughs> four in RAID zero, and you actually get a performance benefit there, although you know, these are QLC drives that are SATA, so we don't want to 
yeah. expect too much from them. Yeah, true. Okay, so overall, 8 terabyte drive, thin 2.5 inch form factor. The uh, uh, PCB is a little bit bigger than the smaller form factor drives or the smaller capacity drives from Samsung. Again, that doesn't really matter, but we took it apart for fun uh, so you guys could take a look at that. And it'll make a great secondary drive repository. It is expensive. You're going to pay a little bit of a, a premium to go up to an 8 terabyte class drive. Hopefully it drops down. It yeah. will. It's, it always does, right? Production yeah. increases, demand increases, and then they, they figure this out. But it's the first. That's the other thing I guess it's worth noting is this is the first, at least that I'm aware of, of a uh, 8 terabyte SATA drive for end users. Yeah, it should be pretty fun. Yeah, and we've seen we've seen the 15 and the 30s for enterprise, but those are the larger, a little bit outside the price range of what people would want to spend. Just a bit outside. Yeah, I think the uh, 15 terabyte QLC from Intel is uh, about four times the price of this thing. So, yeah. in any event, it's a it's a nifty little drive. You've got to have a specific use case for it, but if you do, then uh, I think you'll be pretty pleased with uh, dropping eight terabytes of flash in your system. That's all for this one. Thanks for tuning in.